Welcome to another vlog of mine. As you can see, today is a day in the life of an engineer. So, welcome. As you can see, after soaking, I get up and I make my bed. A well-made bed is always... It gives you that, that feeling that, you know, you have accomplished something in your day. So, I make my bed as always. And most because I went to a boarding school that if you don't make your bed, your ass gets whooped. So, because of that, I've always learned to make my bed and keep my place <laughs> clean. Squeaky clean. So after that, I make my bed and you're wondering why has she not prayed? I don't pray in my room. I do not pray in my room in the mornings. I don't know. I do not like it. But after that, I look at the bean collection trucks. I just love watching the automation. And today's Wednesday, so they come collect our trucks. So everyone has been saying, all of you have gained weight, all of you have gained weight. Yes, I have gained weight. Like I was locked down for four months and I, my, my fridge was just five feet away from where I work. So I gained weight, but I started exercising. So my day incorporates the clothes same challenge exercise where I just try to reduce my abdominal fat. I do not have fat anywhere except in my tummy. Like why doesn't my fat go to my ass? That needs to be studied because I need fat in my ass, not my tummy. So after that, I look, get energized for the day. And yes, baby's looking so good for the day. Then she's, yeah, I know, you're feeling yourself move. So we go in and have a hot shower. I always love hot showers because it's very calming. Then I dance. So after the dancing break, I tried to put myself together and go to work. But as you can see, this girl likes dancing, so she has to dance again. But I get ready to work and I take two essentials, my keys and my mask because we have corona in town. Then I walk to work. Yes, I walk to work. You see what I did there? I walk to work. Oh gosh, rhymes upon rhymes. Anyways, I live five minutes away from work. It was intentional because of the cold winter so, um, cold Melbourne winters, and someone will be like, Cold winters is winter is not supposed to be cold. No, in Queensland, winters are not cold, in Melbourne, winters are cold, so hence the cold winters. Anyhow, my office is not far from the house, I walk to work so I don't have to get a car and I save money. So, this is me in my office, and this is the reception area. But as a big day, we have to take the elevator and go into our floor. Like you can see the elevator. Yes, babes. I'm posh like that <laughs> So this is me just trying to put myself You know in case there's anybody in the office which there will be none and I get into the office and it's mandated for us to sign in So I sign in as a good employee <laughs> Employee of the year maybe one day, but I doubt it So I come into the office going to my cubicle as you can see I'm a water resources engineer and this is my workstation. Yes, I'm a desktop engineer. Because of COVID, we do not do anything on the field. So we just do analysis on the desktop. So after reading some messages, you guys send me from Nigeria because you people are about to sleep and you people are disturbing me. You know, I respond. Then I get on my day. So the tax for today is two things. I am doing a stormwater management um, strategy for a site and one thing we use is QGIS and AutoCAD. QGIS is a geographic information software that analyzes and edits special information. Once I get that special information, I take it to AutoCAD, which gives me the drafting of that site and I use the indicative um, subdivision plan. And my task for today is to design a retention basin. You people may not know what it means, but a retarding basin is a structure. A stormwater structure that is used to hold retained water to stop flooding during a, a one percent AP events. It's so complicated, do not worry. So I do it for the first half of my day. That is from eight o'clock to one o'clock. I work on the systems. As you can see, I'm doing my <laughs> engineering thing. Then I take a break from one to two. We have one hour break, which is really good because we do mental things. We take one hour break and I always take my one hour break by walking. You know, girl is on her weight loss agenda. 
I walk around the vicinity of the office and most especially just to um, warm up my body because I've been in the air condition for so long and I don't want to be white. I want to still have my melanin so I come and take the sun. Then go to my favorite op shop where you guys call Okrika shops and yep. So after visiting the Okrika shops and getting what I don't need, I'm just spending money carelessly. I come back for the remainder of the day, that's from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock, and begin my half of what I need to do. So as a water resources engineer, we, we, get, we make use of different softwares. We use the ROB software for hydrology. We use 2D headquarters for flood modeling. We use music for stormwater quality treatment. We use drains for stormwater quality treatment. We use 12D for drafting and design. We use 2Flow for flood flood management and we use AutoCAD and QGIS which I use in the first half of it so we kind of learn different softwares and my company always takes me on training so I do not have once a software comes I am assured that I would learn it so at the end of the day I get back home you can see how a girl is working crooked she cannot even work on a straight line she's mentally exhausted anyway that's the day in the life of um, a water resource engineer <laughs>